In today's video we will compare Sherco and KTM. I rode both dirt bikes for two years and I have a lot of experience with them. I raced races, serviced them and much more. I have to say right at the start that both bikes are very good and that each has its advantages and disadvantages. KTM is a known brand and a leader in the enduro world and racing. But Sherco proved to be a good competitor in racing. For us hobby riders, Sherco is a very good dirt bike and comes with a lot more equipment than KTM. Of course you can get KTM in 6 days version but you will also pay a lot for it. And the equipment you get is more than just to make bike look more better. You don't get the parts that really matter like the fan and the bike protections what you need for hard enduro. I will start with KTM TPI. This is a very good dirt bike and very easy to use. You have two tanks that matter, one for fuel and the other for two-stroke oil. You can make about four fuel tanks with one refill of two-stroke oil. When the oil runs out you have a red warning light that lights up, which is a sign that you need to add more oil. You don't have a problem with mixing fuel like you have on Sherco. You can also tip over the dirt bike and the fuel will not leak underneath, which is good if you often fall or ride very extreme enduro tracks. You can save a lot of fuel when compared to a carburetor. The characteristics of the engine are that it is very linear and very easy for everyone to ride. The only bad thing of this engine is the weak bottom end power. The carburetor gives much more power at low revs. Also the carburetor is less aggressive but not as linear and precise as the KTM TPI. Now it all depends on your riding style and what and where you want to ride. If you want to ride up hills where you keep full throttle all the way to the top then this is the ideal engine for you. But if you want to ride slippery rocks, difficult terrain where it's hard to find traction on the ground then a carburetor is better for you. Because TPI is quite aggressive, there is no power and then suddenly there is too much. It takes a lot of knowledge to control KTM TPI in slippery conditions, while the Sherco with carburetor is much better and it's much more easy to find grip with him. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by visiting our shop. The KTM TPI comes with white power forks and rear shock. This suspension is very good for most riders. It is quite soft and comfortable in difficult conditions in the woods. But for fast riders it is not because it is so soft that at higher speeds it becomes too unstable and riding begins to be dangerous. But like I said, the suspension is soft and ideal for hard enduro training. It is very suitable for hard and slow riding. If you want a soft and comfortable dirt bike then KTM is ideal for you. If you look for competition and good results, then it is better to choose Sherco with Kaaba forks and shock which is quite hard but more stable. You can also make modifications and adjust the suspension on KTM, but it is quite expensive. KTM with WP suspension has a big advantage when compared to Sherco and Kaaba. In the middle of the forest, you can manually adjust the suspension with just hand to your liking. If you want harder or softer, while with the Kaaba this is a problem and a tool is needed for it and even with the tool it is difficult to adjust the compression on the front forks. KTM has the advantage with the air filter. It is very easy to reach, it is easy to replace. While with Sherco this is a problem, you don't have a lot of space and it's hard to access and replace it. But over time, you get used to this. This is my sister, and she's my mechanic, would you like her to fix your dirt bikes too? Leave a comment below the video. KTM TPI has a lot more electric wires than Sherco and there were problems in the beginning with that. The ignition coil was creating a problem but it was easy to fix. It was just necessary to clean inside and use the zip tie over the cable to prevent water going inside. The problem was that the overflow from the radiators went directly on the ignition coil. It is also wise to use longer hose to make overflow to go to skid plate. And the problem is solved. Another problem with KTM TPI is the oil pump. A lot of the engine broke down and the damage was big. The biggest problem is when it stops working you don't know because there is no red light that comes on. So when filling oil into the tank, always make sure that it is clean and that the mud does not get inside. And often check the pump. You can do this with the help of a black box that comes with the dirt bike, used to test the pump.
If you are a person who believes more in the carburetor, then Sherco is the ideal dirt bike for you. There are great advantages. You will have more power at low revs. You don't need to worry about an oil pump that can stop at any moment and cause you a problem in engine that can cost you a lot of money. You will also have more traction in difficult conditions especially on slippery rock. But all this has its drawbacks. You will have to adjust the carburetor if you ride at different heights. I tested and I can't say that Sherco consumes more fuel than KTM TPI. He consumed the same fuel amount, but must be ideally tuned and needs to work nicely and clean. I bought a factory version that comes with a lot of equipment, fan, bigger radiators, skid plate, bigger brake discs, and more. But it doesn't matter that much, but I want to say that at least I get something I need for hard enduro riding. On KTM 6 days you don't get anything what is really useful. You get just orange parts and they look cool and that's all. Everyone says that carburetor is an old stuff, and that KTM TPI is much better. But I would not agree with that, because on KTM TPI you cannot play and change the characteristics of the engine. But on the Sherco you have that advantage, with the carburetor adjustment you change a lot. The engine response, engine power and more. Sherco also comes with an electric power valve which means the power is ideal and linear even more linear than a KTM TPI which is a little too much for my riding style but it has a great advantage in the forest and gives a lot of traction on the ground and it is much easier to ride in difficult conditions than KTM. The bike is also much more agile and capable of really hard enduro things. KTM is just more aggressive. The quality of the parts on KTM and Sherco is the same but there is a big difference in price. Sherco parts are much cheaper, that is a big advantage. The only problem is that the fewer stores there are, the harder it is to get some parts and you have to wait. While for KTM you can get everything right away, and that is very good if you are a racer, and you need parts fast. The only problem that bothered me was the bad clutch plates, I needed to replace them often before they made new design. KTM simply has the best solution for clutch. It works best and most precisely when it is cold and hot, while on Sherco when the clutch warms up it starts working differently. And that annoyed me a lot in hard enduro when you need perfect clutch control. Sherco is lower than KTM, and it is quite a big advantage in hard enduro when you can touch the floor with your feet. But that's why it's easier to get stuck, and you hit more stones with skid plate. If you have any questions or if you think I forgot to say something, please comment below the video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by visiting our shop.